cases in the state, all from the Central Valley. The two most recent reported in Kings County, the others in Tulare County. Thanks for watching us on Action News Live at 630. Good evening. I'm Dale Ural. And I'm Marco Kim. Those who've been infected all had direct contact with diseased dairy cows. As South Valley reporter Cassandra Gutierrez explains, hundreds of cows have now died from the disease. And the protocol for preventing the spread is sparking biosecurity concerns among local activists. It was on this road in the outskirts of Tulare County where several dead cows infected with a bird flu were found on the side of the road lying for a couple of days. We should warn you, some of this video may be difficult to watch. Video captured by Crystal Heath on October 8th shows the aftermath of a bird flu outbreak. I was pretty shocked to see these cows just laying there uncovered out in the open. There were no signs anywhere warning anybody of the biosecurity risk or that there was even an avian influenza outbreak. Crystal, a veterinarian and the executive director of Our Honor, an advocacy nonprofit, says she's worried about the spread. I was very worried about the flies and I don't think it's been studied enough how flies might be transmitting the virus or if wildlife can contract the virus through just touching the mucous membranes of those dead animals. Western United Dairies represents the Tulare County farm where the cows were found. So it's very unfortunate in this case, the farmer had very few options. Um, you have to separate the sick cows from the healthy cows. And when they pass, in order to facilitate a process called rendering, they have to be placed nearby a public road so that rendering truck does not come onto the dairy and potentially infect the healthy cows. Anya says the flu has claimed the lives of 10 to 15 percent of 1.7 million cows in the state. That's an uptick from the normal 1 percent annual death rate, and the recent heat has made matters worse. Another added concern is protecting employees. We're in a process right now of training workers how to identify signs and symptoms. Those signs include mild flu-like symptoms and conjunctivitis. Employees also have access to personal protective equipment, but activists say more needs to be done. There are 17,500 dairy workers in California, and we really should be doing more to make sure that they're protected, that they are compensated when they have to take time off work so that they aren't scared. They aren't scared of being tested for this virus. In Tulare County, I'm Cassandra Gutierrez, ABC 30 Action News.